is Jack again and I'm speaking about making the human worthless. Okay. So if you have a look at your current situation here on Earth human beings, you are perceived to be worthless. Uh, you experience yourself as less than something or someone else in this world. Uh, you experience yourself as inferior to someone or something else in this world. Um, you struggle with com with comparison. You struggle with jealousy. Uh, you struggle with most of those aspects. And it's interesting because why do you believe yourself to be that? Why do you allow yourself to struggle in this world in terms of believing yourself to be that? And why would you be created that way? Why would Anu have designed you to believe that you are worthless, really worthless, that you have to have purpose to, f to feel better, to feel worthy, that you have to have a reason to exist here, to feel worthy. You have to believe in someone or something to be worthy. Um, oh, and then the brilliant one. Fear of death. Now that is a big one. Fear of death has become the lifesaver to a certain extent of some human beings here on earth. Because now comes the equation of now I, you know, living your life to the fullest. Oh, 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 and another one. Fear of aging. Oh yeah, that's also very good. Um, so, encompassing all that I've mentioned now. Um, my question would, oh, oh, no one, sorry, survival. Oh yeah, survival. Problem of money in this world is a huge one. Um, <clears throat> so I have an interesting point. <clears throat> what is human being, human being's most focused attention point in this world? Money. So, if you look at what actually govern, excuse me, governs this world, not the people, money. So, what is actually then, what is omnipresent in this world? Money. So, what is actually then God in this world? Money whether you're rich or poor or middle class, it is money. And what makes human be what 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 is what do human beings define themselves to? Money. Isn't that strange? Have a look. The poor want, desire, need money to survive. The rich want more. Because that's where their power and control is. The middle class is satisfied, but they want more. They would, wouldn't mind more. So we have the human being equals money equals the requirement for survival equals God. So this is the whole enslavement principle and manifestation in this world. Money. Who defines money? Who gives value to money? Human beings. Who've placed all their worth into money? Human beings. So how would this work in terms of making man worthless? That you define yourself according to the amount of money you have and that depends your worth. Please, any belief in a form of a God is an outer projection because of the fear of death. Actually, if you have a look, all religions that have a manifestation of a God is based on fear. Fear of death. They just want to make sure that when they die, they'll be at a place where they're able to be happy and blissful and not go to a hell of sorts. It's fear of death. Um, but yet, money also. 
it's interesting because what I see in front of people is, and human beings is money. There's money. All the other stuff is somewhere up here in their mind. Money is the most important benefactor in this world. So, what is creating the problem in this world, in existence, human beings, is money. You've got a problem with money. Money is your problem and money can be a solution. Please, who gives value and worth and definition to anything in this world? Human beings. Because of the value, the worth and the definition you've given to money, and the manifestations of those values, definitions, and worths, you have a fuck up. And I'm certain human beings can see that this is just not working. Your money system is not working. It is a huge problem. It is massive. Please. Why is it that some must have fucking everything to go and wage war so that they can feed their power and control and others must starve to death when there clearly is at the moment no money in this world. There's nothing. So I suggest why not just start over. I know you're going to say, Jack, please, it's not important. We've got about billions of people in this world. There's a solution for that too. But surely, This world is in for a rough ride. Because I don't know if you realize it. Money doesn't exist really. <laughs> money itself has become a bloody illusion. Which is controlling and enslaving this world. Money, the actual money, hasn't existed for many years now. But human beings, all this world went, this is the worth, value, and um, definition of money. That's what they believe. So the people in power and control of this world went, that's what the human beings believe. So let them continue believing that. Let's now manifest all of the world's um, beliefs of money, value of money, worths of money, definitions of money for them, and let's just keep them in that. And that's what's been happening. You think this world's money? Nothing. This world, this entire world, each bloody country is in debt. There hasn't been money for years. So if the stock markets are going to fall, ah, imagine that. There is going to be, there's a rough ride coming, human beings. A rough one. There's just not money. There isn't. Okay, this is Jack. I'll continue in my next interview. Thank you very much.